using a Reckonrec to show number value. Today we'll use Reckonrecs to show the number's value or quantity. Math vocabulary. In first grade, we will use these important math words when we use a Reckonrec. The first word is subitize. Please say that word with me, subitize. Subitize means seeing a group of objects and knowing its quantity or amount without counting. When I look at the yellow speaker's chair in our classroom, I don't have to count one. I know it's one by looking at it. You are subitizing when you see a group of objects and know how many there are without counting. Our next word is fluency. Please say that word with me. Fluency. Fluency means we can learn numbers that go together to make a bigger number. If I see one boy and two girls at the pencil sharpener, I know there are three children at the pencil sharpener. If the boy is finished and sits down, one less child than three is two children who are left at the pencil sharpener. Fluency means I can combine or take away numbers and understand how they change the total amount. Today's focus for learning is using a Reckonrec to show the amount or quantity of a number, complete the task that we do, each task with fluency, knowing how to subitize. We'll use one row of online beads again to show the number value. So we'll click to go to our online rec and rec. The last time we counted, each bead defined a value. So if I wanted to show three, I would touch each bead and say its number name. One, two, three. Today we are practicing subitizing, looking at the beads and using one finger push to show its value. So if I would look at those three beads again, I would look at three and push them with one finger push, three. If I wanted to show five, I would look at five and I would push all the red beads over, five. What if I wanted to show seven? Where would I have to touch to push? I know there are five red beads and I need two more white beads to make seven. Seven. Yes! So today we practiced subitizing, looking at an amount and moving it over in one finger push. Now it's time for you to practice. Let's begin.